I was just watching this crazy new video out about <clears throat> the protesters <clears throat> against the coronavirus. And, uh, you know, Ariana, we know we believe the, the virus is real, but we've got a higher, higher power that's protecting us. <laughs> God's going to keep them from getting the virus. Okay. Um, crazy people out there. Crazy people just thinking that the you no, know, it's it's not a real virus. It's the media. It's a lie. Um, I mean, just saying the crazy, crazy things. I just <laughs> good luck with the virus. That's all I've got to say. Remember when you're on your deathbed and they're looking at, you know, giving you on a ventilator. Okay, remember your words then. That's all I can say to them. Um, just craziness. Anyway, I want to leave them to their craziness. I want to do a reading, though, on Biden. If he picks Elizabeth Warren as his VP, how will he do? How will Biden do if he picks Elizabeth Warren as his VP? Now, I think she'd be a great VP. Um, I think she would be a strong pick. Um, but let's see what the cards have to say. How would Biden do with Elizabeth Warren as a VP? Opportunity. Let's see what else we have here. How would Biden do with Elizabeth Warren as a VP? Temperance. So, <clears throat> we're looking at the opportunities, new opportunities, new path going forward with that. Uh, the challenges, temperance. Um, Elizabeth Warren has got some really strong views, that's for sure. Um, so maybe they think it would be a little bit. I'm going to pick another card. Do they need to temper or it, will it be more tempered with her there? Let me see if I can find my other cards here. I'm going to pick one more card here. It's my itty bitty deck. These are a bit hard to shuffle though. <laughs> They're so little. Let's see if we can do this. So, um, so pick one more card and see what we have with this. Okay, so I think it would be that, you know, um, it would make it a bit stronger, a bit stronger with her there. Um, so let's see what we have. Unknown, going into it, hidden. So going into it, kind of facing unknown, hidden things. Um, and so what's going into it is, again, his strength as a leader, Aries. Um, so it looks like people might not be too sure yet. Uh, underneath of it. Uh, foundation okay new emotions and things coming in and uh, coming in because of the loss and this could be the the things you know with all the coronavirus and everything that we're going through now 
people are facing loss and they're really very emotional um, to begin with. Like I said, this, this president coming in this time really has a mess to deal with. Yeah, above it we have again medical, medical stuff. Okay, she's strong for that. Um, I think when it comes to medical and uh, that it, she's a strong alternative, maybe to get better medical coverage and things, um, that I think they could see where, where she would be beneficial. Rushing forward. Okay, this is good. This is my card for, you know, America value system and stuff. So I think that they, that this would be, you know, that you're going forward more to the values that we want, that people want. So she would be strong on getting medical stuff. Um, foundation is, you know, they're going into a tough time. There's been a lot of losses on a lot of fronts with this. Going into it, people are, you know, things are hidden. They don't know. And I think it's also people's worry about, you know, uh, people are losing jobs and everything. Okay, comes to government. Higher power. Yeah, people have been struggling, especially with Trump and stuff. I mean, people have really been struggling. So let's see what we get another card. Yeah, the White House. Um, people feel like with this last administration, you know, they're going to be like they've taken a lot of lumps and stuff. And for a new administration and the government coming in, uh, it's going to be a bit difficult for a time because, let's face it, Trump has dismantled everything he can dismantle. He has thrown as many monkey wrenches into works as he can. I mean, really coming in there, they have a lot, a lot that they're going to have to face. Okay. We've got the wheel. Okay. people moving forward. So I think it's good. I think it's there. there. We've got the wheel. We've got the, you know, army thing and the wheel. We've got connection with people and moving forward. So um, I think people realize, I mean, most of the people that are rational <laughs> realize what they're up against coming in. And um, yeah, they're going to be working. Let's see. Behind the scenes working on things. Yeah. To bring us back in connection with the world. Um, yeah. And I think that they see Biden as a, you know, a softer force than, than um, Trump was. Uh, maybe easier to connect with and he's willing to work on things and get us back connected in the world because let's face it Trump has pulled out of NATO he's done everything he can to screw it up uh, really that was their agenda when you know he's had Breitbart guy from Breitbart um, you know, and he's an anarchist, and Steve Miller, let's face it. So, um, really, they will have to pull together, and uh, they're coming out of the coronavirus things. Uh, people are looking for medic medical care, um, economy. We need to get the economy back on track. We need to get... Uh, our alliances back in the world again so that the world can once again 
look to America as a place, as a place where they want to be, okay? Come back to our American values. Um, so much to be done, but it looks like if Trump, I'm his Trump. God, that's all we hear anymore is Trump. If Biden picks Elizabeth Warren, it looks like, you know, there's a lot of work they'd have to do, but it looks like um, she might be a real good choice for that. Um, because they're going to have to, like I said, this next administration, none of the, none of the spots are filled in the government. Everybody's acting. I mean, really, they've got to put in place a whole new administration, and they've got to get rid of a ton of people that are in there that are just crap. <laughs> sorry, sorry, they're just crap. So um, I think the cards are looking like Elizabeth Warren would be a decent choice for that. She's strong. Um, she's a strong backer. If something happened to him, I think she could step into there, into that role um, as president. We hope nothing happens to Biden, but if something should, uh, I think Elizabeth Warren is a strong enough person that she can step into that position. So thanks for tuning in. Love and light to everyone. Please be safe out there. Be well and don't be like these crazy Trumpers that just say, uh, we don't care. We want to, we want to, you know, and I know everybody wants to get back to work and people were complaining they wanted a haircut. Really? Really? A haircut is more important than keeping people safe from dying. I'm sorry, but, um, you know, I'd like to get Mr. Max groomed. He's looking horrible. He's had like three months now with no, <laughs> no trim. <laughs> he's, he's wild and woolly right now. Oh, and somebody was asking me, why don't I cut his fur? I'm living in a van. When you cut the fur, it is flying everywhere. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been in a dog grooming parlor and see the hair everywhere? I, you know, I'm living in here. <laughs> if I cut his hair, I mean, it would be, it would be everywhere. And there's no table outside, no place to put him where I can cut his hair. So, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Love and light to everyone out there.